essentially my brief looks at the framing of Canada and its engagement in this region. Traditionally, that framing has been focused on the Asia Pacific lens, and obviously that's understandable. Most of our historic engagement in this region has been focused in that, in that framework. Uh, we're a founding member of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation, founding member of the Asian Development Bank, and this sort of trade investment lens is how we've looked at this region. But the geoeconomic and geostrategic changes in this region, some of the security challenges, have led many of our uh, partners and allies and friends to rethink about that framing in an Indo-Pacific sense. And no one's saying that we should forget about the Asia Pacific or we shouldn't, shouldn't be using that terminology, but I think it's important for us to start looking at different ways to frame this region. So in my brief, I look uh, at a, a few of the reasons why we should be adopting an Indo-Pacific approach, but I also more importantly look at some of the arguments against this. So some have focused the Indo-Pacific strategy as a US-centric approach. Others have said this is framed as a containment approach towards China. Now, in my brief, I try to say that this is not about one country or about containing China. The reason that Canada should be adopting an Indo-Pacific approach is because it's in Canada's strategic interests to adopt an Indo-Pacific approach. Finally, I conclude in my brief about a few recommendations on security cooperation and where Canada can go. And I underscore the importance of public diplomacy. Any strategy is only as good as, it's, as the public diplomacy behind it. Uh, and this is one of the most crucial points that I end on my paper.